Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Right, today we got a kit for you. We got a 200 watt box mod with a sub ohm tank. Now, this one is from Asmodus and they kindly gave it to me at the recent Vapor Expo in the UK. So, big thanks for that, Asmodus. Here it is, called the Minikin 3S. We've got the Viento sub ohm tank sitting on top. And as you can see, this is one tasty looking mod. So, first of all, we're going to go down to the table, have a quick look around the tank look through all the features of the mod and then we'll come back up top give it a puff and then we'll talk about them some more okay see you down low in a bit right down at the table we've got the minikin 3s then so here's the logo the esmodus logo there minikin 3s written on this side on the front there we've got nothing on this side we've got some symbols going on on the back we've got nothing on this side we've got a scratch and check authenticity on the back we do have all of your specifications for both the tank and the mod but i will be putting those on the screen as we go through this video so to undo the box we just slide off the sleeve like that inside you will find a little uh, manual for the tank but no manual for the actual mod but if you look at this particular card here it basically says to download the manuals from their uh, website so uh, that's what you can do from the Asmodus website then. You've got a QR code. Right, we've also got a uh, warranty card here and a little battery safety card, which is very nice to see. And then here's how it's all presented to you. So we do get a box of accessories here. Now I've taken them all out. You do get a spare uh, glass here. I believe this one is the two milliliter capacity one because I've got the EU version. You do get a spare USB cable here for uh, firmware updates and uh, charging on the device. And it is a USB C connector, as you can just see there. Right, you get a little baggy here as well for the tank. You get a few O rings in it. There's also this little piece of foam here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be used. Uh, to put underneath the tank when you put it on to protect the mod. I'm not sure, but I haven't used it yet. And we do get a spare coil. So there you go, you've got the Yasmodus logo there. These are the wicking ports here. 40 to 75 watts, 0.15 ohm, and the best between 40 and 65 watts. So mesh going on inside. As per a lot of tanks these days, and we've got the cotton that surrounds it. So just make sure you prime this cord up, proper saturate it, and then leave it for a good 10 to 20 minutes with juice inside the tank before you vape on it. Right, so props to Osmodus for the actual packaging. I do like this box. Uh, we've got uh, you know, a nice little bit of uh, cloth inside there. It just makes it look a little bit uh, more superior than most boxes. We've got the tank here and we do have our device here but uh, yeah very nice packaging with this particular kit right let's have a talk about the tank then first so here it is it's 26.9 uh, millimeters in diameter because there are, is like this outer cage bit that goes around the glass so on the top we do have uh, 810 fit and dripped it but it is the ones with the o-ring so your normal 810 fitting ones aren't going to fit in there and i'll just show you by putting on one of my other ones here see it's a little bit loose this is just just the regular tip i've got there so you do need to get the ones that have got the o-rings in but uh, that's a look inside the top excuse the moisture here plug that back in there quick look on the bottom so we have got asmodus viento which is the name of this particular tank so non-adjustable pin and we do have a peak insulator that does surround it but uh, as ever with these uh, type of non-adjustable ones uh, I wouldn't uh, recommend using this one on a hybrid mechanical device but anyway a quick look around the top of this then so we have got some dimples going on there a little bit of design work no rough edges very nice indeed we've got an arrow there this is where the top fit is so if you push it it swivels around much like the uh, smock series of tanks so Gas gasket in there, you fill your juice through there. So 
dropper bottles may not work quite so well you need to get yourself a fine tip bottle to fill this one up but when it clicks in place this does not move so it's a really good uh, top fill on this one it's pretty child proof to be honest because it's quite stiff to actually undo so like i say just push it and push it sort of over to the right as you push it and then it clicks into place very nice so we've got the asmodus logo on the bottom there like i say this is just a little cage we do have adjustable airflow with stoppers on both sides so that's it fully open and then you can adjust it same on both sides and it will lock in the closed position so to take it all apart this piece does come off as well if you want to replace the tank you just pull that off there we've got the o-ring uh, there to help make the silver the glass and we've already looked the core this one is ex exactly the same and this one has already been used for the past a couple of weeks or so albeit not every day but it's um, still going very strongly but like i said i haven't been uh, absolutely ragging this uh, coil so i wouldn't be able to tell you exactly how long it lasts but we'll talk about the actual performance of it a little bit later on so then you can put this piece back on here there is like a little groove there a little notch on here you line up put that bit on like that and then you can just literally screw it all back together tight push your fill port and then fill it up with juice, leave it for a few minutes for the first time and then you're ready to vape. Right, here's the, a look at this uh, particular device then. I think it looks uh, really nice, this particular one. This is designed for left-handers. You can just see on the side here, we've got some contours there, so it does fit the hand very nicely in left-hand mode. And there's your clicky fire button. On the front there, that's your screen. So you've got uh, touch screen. We've also got a uh, fingerprint sensor on the fire button. There's a USB-C port, which you can use for your firmware updates. I'm not sure if you can charge it on the device. I never try because I always uh, recommend using an external battery charger. But yeah, very nice paintwork on this one. It is like a, a rubbery texture. I've got no nicks out of this at all. I've had it since Expo, so I've had it a good three weeks or so. Let's have a look on the top. You notice we have got the lip going on here. Now the Minicam 3 has got a flat top, but the 3S has uh, got this lip on it. So, but I believe the 510 pins in the same place, so it wouldn't matter. You can only get 27 millimeters on there without overhang hang an anyway. But on this particular one, you can literally only fit uh, the 27 mils because I tried the fatality and it doesn't quite fit, which is very annoying. But we have got a Bring mounted 510 pin, lovely throw on it, absolutely no dramas with any of my atomizers. So let's just screw the Viento tank on there to just show you. This is 20, basically 27 mil. And it, yeah, it just fits on there like a glove, that particular one. So we do have a little bit of carbon fiber going on around this way. So if you're doing it in right-handed version and thumb firing, you'll be grabbing hold of that and thumb firing just like that. It's comfortable either way around. I tend to chop and change because I'm a little bit ambidextrous anyway, so it doesn't really concern me. But in right-handed mode, it's perfectly comfortable. You can even do it, uh, hold it this way around, finger fire if you wish, but you can't see the screen if you're going to be doing that. But yeah, looks very nice indeed, this one very upmarket right is the bottom then so we've got the usual sort of markings and we've got some battery venting going on um this is the door open you just push it forward flick it open there battery a battery b negative positive so there's your polarities you can also see them down there positive down negative down let's get a couple of samson 30 q's i go to battery in my regulated because i tend to rock it to a under 80 watts most of the time so i find these are perfect for it so just push that and then push it back it's really nice stays in place not come undone at all right let's turn this uh bad boy on then so five clicks right it says married batteries uh, without damage only so just press yes there there's your little as a symbol you must be at least 21 old uh, we've got the fingerprint or the password there now i've got it set up to use uh, fingerprints we're going to put that one on and then basically i use this left thumb it is a little bit sensitive this it doesn't always work probably won't now i'm trying to do it on camera 
there you go third time lucky now the brightness of this screen is super bright but i've turned it down to basically number two out of ten because it was just too much for the logitech to handle so at least we can see the color on it now so at the top it shows you what mode you're in we got in power mode at the moment there's your battery markers there independent battery markers which is awesome there's your wattage voltage resistance duration how many puffs you've had and we've got whether we're in normal hard or soft uh, i think that one's the second one is whether we're in fingerprint sensor mode or not we've got haptic feedback there whether that's on or off or whether the device is locked there so you, you can obviously just swipe down like uh, as ever an unlocked device so you can start adjusting the wattage for example so let's just scroll up through the wattage so it goes up in singular increments there all the way up to 200 watts and we've got no round robin on this one so let's just put that one back down so it's pretty quick though i'm quite impressed with it and then it starts going in point ones when you go below i think it was how many watts was it yeah it's below 10 watts so that's really good for like those who like their mouth or lungs and want to super fine tune it right what else do we need to show you then so yeah so you can unlock it by swiping down you can also set it to do three clicks instead so you click on the screen three clicks but let's unlock it again we'll use my thumb this time and then we'll swipe up and then you can change whether you're in hard normal or soft so it's like uh, how hard it hits we'll just leave it in normal there three clicks will uh, lock the system lock but if you don't want to turn it off you just want to lock it just do that and it won't fire uh, inadvertently or anything like that you can't uh, adjust any param uh, parameters and you can adjust the, the the length of the screen time out as well i've got it set to 30 seconds at the moment but you can put it to 10 and then that light would actually go off so three clicks so we're unlocked again five clicks to take you into the main menu there you go so we get the red off symbol if you press that you can turn the device off we're not going to do that now hit that one and you can uh, basically adjust your resistance if you're in temperature control mode or lock it i should say right this one here this is uh for putting your pin in you can't quite see on there but basically there you go you can just see as mode ah uh, you can put in like a pin uh, so you can put that in instead by putting different variation variations in I'm not going to try it now but uh, you can play with that at your heart's content i've got it set up in fingerprint mode and basically what you do is you put the pin in that you've already done and then you can uh put your it basically reads your fingerprints so you can do three fingerprints i, I think i did both my thumbs and my finger but if you put your password in there i can't remember what mine is so i can't show you on camera but uh, you, you do that and then it asks you to do your fingerprint it's just like on a fingerprint sensor on your phone phone you basically touch it round with your thumb set your fingerprint and then it uh, it puts a little tick and you can do that for three fingers so we're just exit out of there right this one's quite fun if we turn this one on this is like a it's got the accelerometer inside so if you shake the device we'll show you in a minute you can actually change the uh, colors uh, the, on the screen right this one here is to turn whether it vibrates on or off so you tend to have that on it will give you a low battery warning below i think it's 30 percent but it might be 20 percent but yeah it's quite a nifty little feature that one and that's your screen timeout so you can adjust that up and down uh what's this one whether you're in slide or click whether it's slide down or click three times or you can also use your fingerprints to unlock it here's your brightness like i said we're on two but it does go up to 10 and you can also change the color of the screen manually by scrolling through the different colors there i've got it on red at the moment but we'll just show you the accelerometer mode very soon Right, that's your version number what's this one that's upgrade and we've got eco mode i think that puts it into like a stealthy type mode i don't use that one and that's your puff count 
obviously got fresh batteries in there so it's not actually how many I've actually been using because I've had it three weeks so we've got a few thousand on there really so press the fire button to bring you back to the main menu so if I shake this hopefully it's going to change color because at the moment you can see it's in red mode so I knew it wouldn't work there you go we've gone to uh, I think that's purple green a bit of a gimmick but it's always fun isn't it to play around we've gone to white there and it's turned itself off and then back to uh, red or orange let's put it on red I like to have it on red and there you go um, what else can we show you right let's unlock it use the th fingerprint try and do that so you can just see it's unlocked and then obviously you can do left and uh, scroll through this way as well TFR this is for temperature control we've also got TCR there we've got your power curves and what's this one temp there I think you hold on to that and then you can change it between micro titanium all your stainless steels so all of that's in there so I don't really use temperature control but it's all in here uh, I like to rock it in power mode most of the time but uh, like I say if you want to know the f uh, features of all of those uh, TCR modes and that just go to the Asmodus website and download the manual but for now I think that's about it and um, we're going to go back up top now and I'll tell you what I think about it right we're back up top with a Minikin 3S kit with the Viento sub ohm tank right what do i think of these uh, bad boys then right let's talk about the tank first uh talk about the fit and finish and build quality of it this is a bit of a um it reminds me of one, one of those mobile phone cases you know those rugged ones you used to get uh, that uh, if you work on a building site or something you can like throw it around and it protects it this is what this is like we've got really good sturdy like top cap on it we got this extra bit of protection around here which sort of protects the glass so you're going to minimize breakages if you drop it but uh, yeah this is a decently put together tank this is absolutely no moisture at all around it you got this decent top fill you're not opening that in a hurry unless you give it some force uh, but when it yeah do you know what i mean it's really well put together i'm really pleased with this one this is proper child proof that this top cap is and yeah it all just goes together very well we got adjustable airflow on it uh, admittedly it's a little bit hard to adjust on this mod because we've got that lip in the way it's a bit of a pain in the ass but it does work very well we've got a nice resistance to it but it would work better if it was on a, a flatter style of mod but um yeah all in all though the build quality of that tank is really good but what about the performance of it well before we talk about the mod let's just give this tank a little go we got it at 60 watts it says between i think it's 50 and 75 watts so here we go 60 wide open not bad at all we have got a little bit of restriction there let's try up to 75 like it, what it says it can do oh no 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 that is giving me a dry hit so I have tested this thoroughly for me 60 watts is about perfect for it uh, you probably go up to 65 but uh, 60 gives me the best flavor you can go down to 50 if you want but you're not getting quite as much flavor but let's give you an airflow rating now no more than a 7 out of 10 for some reason i'm getting a few dry hits off this now i think i've just buggered that core with putting too much wattage through it let's just crank it down a little bit more bugs me that does because it does say it's advertised on the core that it can handle it that's a bit better 55 watts we'll leave it there i think right let's just knock the airflow down to about half doesn't make too much difference a quarter 
relatively smooth it's not the smoothest in the world but for me wide open is just the best sort of draw you're getting from it and the flavor of the tank it's uh, above average it's not competing with the likes of the falcon or the uh, what's the other one the freemax mesh pro but uh, it's a decent sub ohm tank there it's very well built and very sturdy and it doesn't leak so i think it, this would be good for uh, someone who's just getting into vaping someone who's maybe going on from mouth to lung wants to try sub ohm tanks so yeah decent little effort with this particular tank right let's go on to the star of the show then which is the, the mod right this is um yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. This I've had this a few weeks now because, like I said, I picked it up at the beginning of May. So I've given this a, a thorough testing, and uh, it is sort of designed for for the left hander because of those like grooves in it. But um, I find it particularly comfortable in the right hand now. And you just get used to how to hold it. You have got like thumb fire it there, and it's just it's nice in either hand to be honest. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the finish and uh, build quality of this particular mod. Then, well, first of all, this paintwork is awesome it's really nice to touch got a nice texture to it so it's sort of got a little bit of grip to it which is very nice we've got absolutely no paintwork and i put on loads of atomizers on this and you see with the top uh, there's a little bit of um, moisture where i keep on getting tanks that leak over it but as far as the paintwork goes it's um nothing wrong with it at all now while i'm thinking about it though this lip is um something not to be desired in my opinion um at first i was saying oh god i don't think i like that because uh, like, i've got some 30 mil atties and 28 millimeter ones and the most you're going to get on here is a 27 mil and this is basically 26.9 and it fits on here perfectly the tank that comes with it but um we'll leave that one off actually and we'll put on the what have we got where's me drop dead gone um uh, We'll put an RDA in on it because we'll show the capabilities of the the mod next. But yeah, the fit and finish, the fire button's really nice. Uh, this door is lovely as well. You just push it and it comes open, closes, and it's not come out at all. Absolutely no battery rattle. It feels bloody nice in the hand. There's not too much weight to it, but there's just enough weight. If you're a left-hander, you're going to love it because, uh, like I say, you've got those grooves in it. It just fits perfectly. I tend to vape left-handed when I'm, I'm in bed and uh, other times of the day as well, but when I'm walking, I just hold it like that. You've got that carbon fibre. That's nice bit of grip to it too and i think it looks pretty cool as well i'm not sure if it's just a sticker it probably is i'm not sure but it hasn't come off off of me or anything like that yeah so it, it just looks sleek i think it looks lovely we've got the the fire button which uh doubles up as a fingerprint sensor as well we'll talk about that in a minute we got the screen we've got it in purple mode at the moment but uh you can put it on that accelerometer mode if you just fancy a bit of randomness so, like you're dr driving along or whatever you go like that go to look at it again and it's gone from like purple to red so like to, to white and it's quite funny so sometimes i'll just leave it on there because uh, i am a gemini so i do tend to like uh, different colors so it's quite a nice little feature for me but let's talk about that fingerprint sensor then. Uh, is it a gimmick or does it actually work? Well, it's, um, it does work, but it's a little bit temperamental. It's like if I use my, this thumb's been geared up to work with it, but the only way I can sort of do it, if I hold it in the other hand and sort of get it perfectly in the right position, and then it will just unlock it there. But most of the time, when I want to go and do it quick, it just doesn't work. So I end up just swiping it down anyway. Uh, the other hand it seems to work a little bit better for uh, but it's still not doing it now though it's so yeah it's a little bit too temperamental for me is it going to work yeah it just did then on my thumb like you can put three you can key in three uh, assigned fingers to it so i've got both my thumbs and i think it was one of my four fingers i can't remember now but i tend not to use it because it doesn't particularly work that well for me all the time but it's uh, good that it's got it on there i use it for the fingerprint recognition when i power up the mod though so that is good because the what is it that pin that they've got you've got like choose the letters from as mode you or whatever it hasn't got quite enough letters to do the actual full as, as modus on it but you can set your own pin up but then you've got to remember what bloody order you've got in it uh, now i've set mine up I, I can't remember what i actually use so i'll probably have to just leave it um 
just as it is or I'll turn it off at some point because I'll just use the fingerprint sensor and it does work when I'm actually switching it on but it's good that we got a little bit of innovation going on there they're thinking about security and stuff like that so if you did lose it uh, someone's not going to be able to use it which is uh, quite funny so that'll teach you for trying to nick it but as far as the menu and um, everything with this i've got the asmodus and ultrona eos 2 i've also got the colossal very similar menu system i think you might have a, a few more features on here like you've got the accelerometer you've also got the vibrate mode and so that's really good so it warns you when you get in below i think it's 30 percent you get a little uh, buzzing sound so it reminds you to charge your batteries temperature control you've got tfr tcr all of that uh, jazz on here i haven't extensively used it i have tried it in stainless steel and it seems to work for me but uh, like i say i'm a straight wattage vapor it's got it all in on there if you do wish but uh, i just love the screen this is um turn on again i've got it at, i think it's three out of ten and it's super bright so if you've got it at 10 out of 10 you are going to be able to see this in whatever bright sunshine you're walking out to but um, anyway, let's stop rabbiting and let's have a little toot on it. We're going to put it up to 120 watts. On We've got the drop dead on it. A bit of RDA action. Make sure I've juiced it up properly. Now I've tested this with my Modifying Lyra, which does seem to be a... Bloody thing, it's gone up to 200 watts. Should we try it at 200? Here we go then. Let's have one. It's going to say, that didn't feel like 200 watts for me. But I was comparing it at 120, 130 with the Modifying Lyra. And that hits uh, just as hard as my drone, which has got a DNA chip in it. And... Um, it was nearly keeping up. It wasn't quite hitting as hard though. And now I've just done that 200 watt vape. I'm not thinking that's hitting 200 watts uh, particularly. Like I say, let's put it down to 130 because that's what I was doing it at. And it wasn't far off what the, um, the modifying Lyra was doing. Like for me... We got 130 there. It also depends what sort of batteries you got in there. Really, you need to get some VCT5 A's in there. Shouldn't really be using this at 200 watts because I think I've got some Samsung 30 Qs. You don't really want to go above like 100, 110 really with those. I can't remember the ratings, but uh, just for the purpose of this, I just tried it 120, 130. I don't go up that high anyway, but it does sort of keep up with the, the Lyra. But I think if you're going to go above the 130, it may be a little bit lacking, maybe not reading quite as true. But putting it down to sensible wattages like 90, 80, 60 and all that, it, it works very well indeed. We've got a nice quick response to it. So yeah, no problems at all with it for the sort of vaping I do. Regulated vaping. Mouth to lung works very well on here as well. Single corn atties work very well at 40, 50 watts. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a, a cracking device, really comfortable in the hand. If you're going for a 200 watt vape, uh, I'm not quite sure that this one's going to hit it for you. But some of the specs uh, for you, what does it say it can hit? Uh, maximum output of 7.5 volts. Maximum output current is 35 amps. Well, there you go then. That probably ex explains things. Because it depends what sort of a core you've got in here as well. 0.120, no doubt, isn't going to be hitting... Uh, you're not going to be able to get 200 watts anyway because uh, you've got a 35 amp cutoff limit with it. But you'd have to do your own sort of work it out and all of that. But uh, that is probably the, the reason why. But all in all with this mod, I just think it's really comfortable. It's very well built. The battery door's awesome. The screen is superb. I love the way you can change the colours to it. Not su such a fan of the lip because you can only put up to 27 millimeter atties. I tried to put the fatality on there and it wouldn't fit. Apparently the Minicum 3, which hasn't got the S on the end, has just got a flat top. But I do believe the 510 is still in the same position. So if you are going to put 20, uh, 28s, 30s on there, it's going to overhang a little bit this way. So, yeah, I would have preferred it if we had a centred 510. But it is what it is, as they say. 
but all in all i think this is not a bad price as well i think you can get it for around 65 quid i think they were selling them for about 35 for the kits at, at expo which is an awesome price but for 65 quid you're getting sub ohm tank and the mod i think that's awesome like for, for what you're getting this is a, a really good bit of kit and this no doubt is going to be staying in my rotation for sure right as far as the battery management with this one uh it's been lasting me really well this one i've been taking dual core rtas to work with me at 70 watts or so and it's been lasting me until i go to bed and even then it's still got 25 30 percent battery power of course i'm not vaping continuously throughout the day if you're going to be doing that you're going to probably be charging it after about four or five hours or so if you're continuously vaping but as for general use for this one i think the battery management is pretty good on this particular device so big thanks to Asmodus for handing me this at the expo it is very much appreciated and if you enjoyed the review guys please give it a little thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider subscribing too and make sure you hit those little bell notification to be notified of all my latest videos only one notification there is in fact <laughs> and i've got my own website too it's mfape.co.uk and you can also find me on social media all the links are down below the video so until next time guys thanks very much for watching and i'll see you again very soon okay cheers mm -hmm.